free climbers reach El Capitan Peak and make history. Two U.S. climbers, who spent more than two weeks scaling the sheer face of El Capitan in Yosemite National Park, have finally reached the summit of the 3,000 feet, 914M, rock. Kevin Yurgeson, 30, and Tommy Caldwell, 36, are the first climbers to do so without aids, except for harnesses and ropes to prevent deadly falls. They began their historic half-mile ascent on December 27. During the climb the pair slept in tents suspended from the mountain face. I will succeed. The men did not give media interviews on completion of their challenge, but are expected to discuss the climb later. Eric Yurgeson, Kevin Yurgeson's father, told local media his son had always been a climber and watching him fulfill a long-time dream had made him proud. He climbed everything he could think of. It made us nervous early on as parents, but we got used to it, he said. He and his son had begun climbing the other routes to El Capitan's Peak in California when Kevin was 15, making it a birthday tradition each year. I feel like the most proud person in the world right now, Mr. Caldwell's sister, Sandy Van Nguyenhuizen, said. During their climb up the notoriously difficult Don Wall route, both took rest days to wait for their skin to heal and used tape and even superglue to speed the process. At one point it seemed unlikely that they would make it to the top, the BBC's Alastair Lighthead at the foot of El Capitan reports. The pair suffered bruising falls, when their grip slipped, and they would bounce off the mountain face. Only their safety rope saved them from further harm. As disappointing as this is, I'm learning new levels of patience, perseverance, and desire, Yurgeson had posted online at one point. I'm not giving up. I will rest. I will try again. I will succeed.